The most popular subject in astronomy at the moment is exoplanets. After the first planet circling a sun-like star was found in 1995, the field exploded, showing that almost every star in the sky has a family of planets. We are just now beginning to have the ability to identify biological or even technological indicators in the atmospheres of these extraterrestrial worlds thanks to significant technical advancements. All of this is incredibly exciting. But in order to truly understand what is occurring on planets located several light years away, we must image them. Images of continents with green patches may show the presence of life. Images of the same continents taken at night, when they are illuminated by city lights, in high resolution, may indicate the presence of civilizations. Unfortunately, we are unable to provide these photos. For astronomers, they have only been a pipe dream. However, that is changing now. Using the sun to focus on exoplanets, your telescope size affects resolution. Even on the nearest exoplanets, it requires a very powerful telescope to directly resolve surface characteristics. A telescope the size of Earth's orbit would be necessary to attain a resolution of 1 meter on an exoplanet. Even if we can find money for it, there are no technologies to build it. Fortunately, there is a different approach to efficiently gather light for telescope. Einstein's general theory of relativity states that a large object may bend spacetime in such a manner that it can function as a huge lens, gathering and focusing the light waves passing by. These gravitational lenses are now routinely used in cosmology. Images of background objects, such as farther off galaxies, are produced by foreground galaxy clusters. So can we use the Sun, our neighborhood's massive mass collection, as a very large telescope since telescopes function by gathering and focusing passing light waves? Though it could make sense in theory, this is one of those concepts that just looks sort of insane. We now know, however, that the concept may really be workable, and that we may use it to obtain images of exoplanets with resolutions as low as tens of kilometers. That is a near enough distance to observe buildings on an extraterrestrial planet. This is how it goes. The sun's mass bends space-time as light from a far-off object travels through it, causing the light to concentrate on a line that starts around 550 astronomical units away. Distance between the sun and earth is measured in astronomical units, or AUs. Light from an exoplanet would circle the sun at that distance. If a telescope could reach that distance, it could gather the light from the ring and utilize it to build an image of the exoplanet. There are still issues that need to be resolved, such as the impact of the sun's and its corona's light. However, Turyshev, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, and his associates have previously demonstrated that these difficulties are surmountable. In a remarkable series of studies, they have shown that a telescope at 550 astronomical units might actually create ultra-high resolution photos of extraterrestrial worlds. So indeed, you just need to have a telescope that is 550 astronomical units from the Sun. The Voyager 1 probe, which has been in space for more than 40 years and is now just around 160 astronomical units distant from the Sun. But the team of Turyshev has an innovative strategy for reaching 550 astronomical units in little under 20 years. The plan is to employ a brand new, highly maneuverable solar sail that will harness sun photons to travel at amazing speeds. According to the mission plan, groups of sail-powered spacecraft would launch about once a year to build a flotilla that will go outside the solar system. By first diving close to the sun, where the light is most intense, each spacecraft cluster can establish a fast trajectory out to the solar focus line. The spacecraft will employ artificial intelligence to self-assemble into a telescope once they have arrived at their destination. Then they will start gathering up close pictures of far-off worlds. It appears to be science fiction because of how outrageous the premise is, but it is not. Through the NASA mission idea process, the JPL team has been making steady progress. They are still working on their solar gravitational lens telescope. At least for now, everything appears to be both doable and realistic. We could witness the first launches in a decade if everything continues to go well. By the 2060s, 
we may start taking pictures of extraterrestrial worlds that show extraterrestrial river systems, mountain ranges, chains of extraterrestrial islands, deserts, and peninsulas. We may even find the proof we need to know that there is alien life underneath and all that detail.